Hi everybody, welcome to today's Early Childhood Corner, which is sponsored by Catherine G. McGovern and McGovern Foundation. Today's craft is brought to you by Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo does a great job helping teach people about Texas agriculture. Super big word. But Texas agriculture, that just means the different animals that we raise, the livestock, things like um, cows and pigs and chickens, and then the different crops, the things that we grow. And one of the things that we grow a lot of here in Texas is corn. Now corn is grown and used for a lot of different things. First of all, we eat it. People can eat corn. We also grow a lot of it to feed to our livestock, to feed to our animals. And then it can also be turned into different products. But today, we are gonna be using our corn to do an art project. What we are going to do is we are gonna peel our corn so that it looks like this probably a little bit more familiar like this, and we are going to create corn prints. For your corn prints, you will need a piece of paper, some corn, some paint, and a couple of plates that you can pour your paint out on. It's best to use tempera paints for this activity. And then you'll want something to put under your paper, whether it's a tray or newspaper, so that we don't get paint on the surface we're working on. Grab one of your ears of corn and roll it in your paint so that it's coated on all sides. Place it on one side of your paper and just start rolling it across. You don't have to push too hard. to make a print and then you can try it with the same color paint or if you'd like you can try using a different color you can use a lot of paint or just a little bit of paint to create different patterns and if you do use different colors of paint you might even get a little bit of color mixing on your paper now you can keep doing this again and again as many times as you'd like to get your paper covered in as many prints as you think looks good. Once your corn print paint is dry, you can leave your art as is, or if you'd like, you can turn it into something else. You can practice using scissors by doing something like cutting out shapes and hanging them in the window, like a leaf shape. Or if you have something at home like contact paper, you can put that over the top to protect the paper itself, and you can use it as a placemat for Thanksgiving. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us for today's craft, sponsored by Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. From Children's Museum Houston, I'm Danny. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.